Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fair Wanderings. We're in part two, uh, and we're about to meet uh, Kirkall's mom. You know, as you do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you recover your um, you recover your prisoner completely in one piece. They're um, missing like one toenail, but it's fine. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I, I stocked up on herbs and stuff. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. happy. Mm -hmm. You have ten gold worth of rare ingredients. Neat. <laughs> um, your um, yeah. So you're led um down to a slightly. Are you going to see mom first? Yeah. Okay. So she's there's not the, like she's the one that sent. That, like, yeah, there's not like a proper right? castle yeah. here. There's like, like, movable fortifications. So you go to one of the nicer movable fortifications. Okay. Um, it's um, first off, it's very pretty. It's a giant um, huh. like multi-layered tent, basically with like wood palisades and like reinforced walls and stuff. Oh, um, nice. Is there stairs? There is not a second story to it, but it oh, is... I'm about to say, I was like, that'd be super swinky. Like they made a frame to actually put wood and like walk up, kind of like. I, I would imagine. I would imagine if something like that was. I would imagine it would be more likely that it goes down than up. If that makes any sense. That makes sense. I, I'd imagine like that there's like a down, lower level. Um, like they dug down and to make a lower level, and this top level is this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, there are there are first time this is the first time you've seen visible guards um armed orcs with weapons standing at a standing not quite at attention but like looking alert um in a way that maybe you like like the other place obviously had security but it wasn't security you could see mm -hmm. um if that makes any sense yeah um what's what's everybody doing is Everybody just following Yin's lead, or pretty much. I uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm guess I'm kind of. Has 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 Andrella been like, yo? When am I going to see the king? <laughs> I mean, I think that upon coming to the city, it was pretty clear she made it, and she made sure to make it clear that she wants to request audience with the king of uh, murders so that she can present him with this gift and then also talk to him. Yeah, okay, so I think- And she's basically expecting that, if not Yin, Kirkhall's definitely gonna help make sure that happens yeah, yeah. for oh, her. They, I think you've been told that that's gonna happen, but the, the, the king is in curl tie right now and can't be disturbed for some time. What if I've been told that the king can't be here, then well, I mean- he's, he's here, he's in he's in curl tie. It's like, he's in council, basically. Okay. Um, but in that case, would it make sense for the prisoner to be held someplace for a while? Oh, totally, totally. That's I think that's something you found out at the at the temple. Okay. And you will your prisoner will be taken to the designated time, the designated location at the end of the curl tie. Okay. Yeah. So that way we don't we don't want to be dragging a drow around the city. Yeah, they're just gonna get murdered at some point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, another thing you all notice is um, the community is actually fairly diverse. It's not just orcs. There are humans and some goblins. Um, all of them are dressed like the orcs that you've seen. Mm. Like it's very clear that it's the culture is the culture is homogeneous, but the races are not. Mm. If that makes any sense, mm -hmm. I, I got you. It's one culture made up of many different races yeah. for sure. But the prominent race is orc. The, but, but orcs that are mixed with other races. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Yin's not even full orc, right? Yin's Yin's father was, I'm assuming, human. I think so. He could have been. He could have been a he half. He died in battle. It yeah. Was a thing. <laughs> yep. Um, totally yeah. So yeah, you're you you're guided. Your like your horses are and like equipment is taken, uh, or like. Like people offer to take your equipment and like your coats and stuff. I, I keep my heads. <laughs> you keep your heads. Did you get those preserved? Did you have yeah, any yeah, like they, that? Yeah, the they're now in like they're cool. now in like um yeah, they're now like on like one large stick and have been <laughs> magically preserved. Yep. It's like the most fucked up lollipop you've ever seen. <laughs> yep. 
hey, I, I'm going to get rid of it once we talk to the dad. He know uh-huh. that I'm a baller, and I'm going to yeah. get rid of it. I think I think one of the I think one of the gentlemen just is like, um, would you like to leave those here? <laughs> no. Very well. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so it's clear to us we understand that we're gonna ba- we're basically taking Kirkall home now. I think if, I I am assuming Kirkall and Yin have maybe made that clear. Okay. Kirkall is definitely like freaking out. Yeah, um, I was wondering, like, how is Kirkall handling this? Because, like, I'm picturing Yin just kind of forcing him a little bit. Like, he'll stop every now and then, and she'll have to kind of, like, push him. He's terrified, him. and he's like, Yin, she's going to kill me. Oh, I'm yeah. kind of, like, in a dream right now, thinking about those creatures and trying to think what they are, but I'm not smart enough to know. Aw, Echo, <laughs> just ask. <laughs> I'll help you out. What were you going to um, say, it's okay. if you... Mandela? Yes, Cecilia? Go. It's okay. If you die, I can perform my ceremony, and you will, we can put you to rest uh, with honors. I don't understand this. Kirkhall, you're going home. It's your mother. <laughs> she'll, she'll be happy. Andrew, I've been missing for six months. Yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> he never even wrote back home. Nobody knew what happened to him. I, well, I got put in Still prison. Herself. That's what happened to me. Did you? I don't see any reason why you should be afraid. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> you might have to meet his mother to completely understand. Look, She's probably my nice mother lady. is a terrifying woman. But I know if I were to show back up on her doorstep, she would be absolutely happy to see me. Never oh. met my mother. I don't, I don't doubt that my mother is going to be happy to see me. I might lose a tooth, but she's going to be happy to see me. Her expression of happiness might be in question. I'll have cure uh, wounds on standby. Please. Thank you. Also, please, also yeah. spare the dying. I, don't, I hope it doesn't come to that. I also have good berries. I, there thank we you. Go. You all are good friends. She's your mom. Now go, 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 get, go get beat up. <laughs> so silly. He's just like, yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I think, he, like, do it. I think he like <laughs> smiles and like. Just kind of out of nowhere, like hugs Andrella and is like, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm terrified, but I'm gonna do it." And Andrella's like, "Don't be scared. There's no reason to be scared. Why are you scared? I don't understand any of this nonsense so, you're talking about." So he like he like walks up to the door and he like knocks uh, loudly because it's like an actual like I guess door. Um, oh, so we're past the guards. We're like in a foyer area or something. Yeah, you're in like a courtyard. Okay. Is um, it like those slidey paper doors, or is it like? <coughs> yeah, totally. Like slidey doors. I love slidey tunk, doors. Tunk, tunk, tunk. <laughs> and then I think I think the door like slides open just a little bit, and you see like a little kid like looking out. Who are you? She like opens the door the rest of the way, and then just like runs up and just like tackles Kirkall. Who is this child? Little <laughs> little sister. <laughs> Okay. Yin's <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> uh, well, maybe you didn't recognize her because she's wearing like she's wearing like the like headdress of a seeress. Okay. Um. So she, you couldn't you you couldn't see her face right away, but she's clearly a small like she's maybe like twelve. Um, okay, that's not small. Like, like a... <laughs> she's that, like, that's like child. That's, that's like, like almost 16. adult for an orc, but she's like <laughs> she's young. She's obviously very young, and she's tiny. She's short. Okay. Um. What's her yeah. name? Um, her name is Random Table, Random Table, Random Table. Uh, Did it start with a K? Like, no. <laughs> Tinrin. Okay. Tinrin. So like, Tinrin, like, yeah. runs up and just tackles Kirkall and is just like, Kirkall, 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 Kirkall. And then she, like, slaps him really hard. Don't ever do that again! <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. Mom's gonna be pissed. She's gonna be excited, but she's gonna be pissed. Is Wait, she in the room, Tinrin? It, it's it's Ian, and she like tackles you too. Okay, I'll, I'll hook her back and take off that silly headdress. Yeah, and it's um looks just like like Kirkall, like like younger little girl Kirkall without a beard. Okay. Um, <laughs> that a beard. Good. Not a beard. And she has like long. She has like she has like really like fancy um, markings. Markings and like 
a one long braid and she's like she's like just like hugging you and then Kirk all like kind of like sticks his head in the door where are our friends like if we're in a foyer like have they entered this area with us I'm assuming yes yeah I, yeah. I think we're, we're like probably so the way I was imagining it is that the four of us stayed kind of like here while Kirk all walked forward to the door and then you're like the one kind of point of the four mm -hmm. of us so the sister ran in to hug you and the three of us are just kind of like grouped around you mm -hmm. I think she like looks up and he's like who she like pulls on your because she's she's like five and nothing she's tiny for an orc she like pulls on your dress she's like who are they these uh, are Kirkall's companions they're and she uh, like looks at Andrella's like markings for a second she's like oh you do magic I do that's really cool we're your companions oh. now too Yin Yes, yes. Give me time to adjust to that. Thank you, Cecilia. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> so, um, from um, so, inside... so, sorry, I had to double check this. I was, sh I thought it could, but I wanted to double check, so I didn't do it wrong. Um, but yeah, so Andrella says, I do. And then she prestidigitates, just tons of sparkle, um, flashing lights and stuff, just kind of she up like around herself. She freaks out and she's like, oh my. She's like, I just, she like tries to do it, but it doesn't like quite work. <laughs> she like almost prestidigate something and then it doesn't happen. <laughs> and she's like suddenly just talking a mile a minute, just like trying to get you to like teach her to do stuff. Um, meanwhile, Kirk has now gone inside. I mean, Yen's going to squeeze on into that room and kind of uh -huh. bear witness to this. And I mean, she's not going to close the door behind her. This Everybody else mm -hmm. can absolutely so, witness. So, um, like a slink behind the group. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, just, I think immediately uh, outside, just as in, like, total, like, angry Jewish mom voice, Kirko! Just like shriek. Hmm. That's a nice battle cry. <laughs> you hear like a loud thunk. Um, and then just like loud, like cursing an orc. And it's just all like, don't ever do that again. You ever do that again. I'm gonna kill you. Oh, thank God you're home. Why I gotta beat you sit like that, that just ping-ponging between I am so pissed off that you made me worry that you right. were dead for six months and oh my god you're alive thank heavens is Echo translating this for everybody in the back? I don't think he needs not, to Yin definitely should <laughs> okay. I, don't think I, I think well I think that maybe Andrella like was was maybe starting to do a minor illusion um, for the kid and then stops when the giant thunk happens and like all the stuff that's occurring she just kind of leans over to the to the girl and she's like what is she I think, saying? Like, since like since Echo and I have been like teaching each other languages, languages, yeah, like I'm like I'm just like like watching the thing, and then I hear like a bunch of shouting, and I like look at Echo, like, did she just say? Yes, she did. Wow. And I think, wow. I think he, I th so so. Um, Tenren, I think is her name. Tenren is what I wrote down. Yeah. Tenren starts translating. Um, basic, yeah, and you get the impression that she's ping ponging between "I'm very angry at you" and "Thank God you're home." Um, okay. Um, and that's about the time Kirkall just comes through the door. <coughs> Does he have any uh, any cracked ribs? Oh, oh he's oh, totally oh. got. He's got a bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, and then this there, like, like Kirkall's tall, but she's even taller than him. Uh huh. Orcish woman with long, like, silvery white hair pulled back into a ponytail. Um steps out and like picks him up by the shirt and then like kind of pulls him in and just hugs him for a long time. You see my character just like does like the shepherdly like hmm interesting. I love you too mom. It's adorable. <laughs> Yen's gonna clear her throat. Um <clears throat> if um if we may I've got some questions and uh things to address. oh and she like looks over at you and she's like oh hello yennefer 
Uh, hello. She like smiles. Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> I was like, picked up on that instantly. <laughs> I think the whole party caught up on that. We all said it at the uh, same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, she like looks. She like looks around, and then she like like Kirkle's got like his arms up, like tried not to get head butted again. Mm -hmm. um, and then she like looks at his arm and like grabs it for a second and just like, oh yeah, uh huh. And then she like. I think Andrella realizes what's happening and just starts like turning really red <laughs> you see me kind of shift between angela and the mom just in case i'm like starting to inch my way over to cecilia <laughs> like we're like putting up that me and cecilia are like kind of making that wall kind of barrier just in case uh -huh. and she like she like lets go of his arm and then in or and in common she says so who is it um, and she's definitely looking at Cecilia this entire time, assuming it's her. <laughs> um, you see me, I have this look of like nostalgia on my face. That I'm trying to keep a straight face, mm -hmm. but it's like, and then he, he kind of like, um, he like motions to Andrella. Yeah. I um, step forward. You got this. Uh, this is, uh, got your back. this is, um, Andrella Steparev. Uh, she is my Kirhat. Andrella does like the full official royal like bow greeting thing that she knows how to do. Yeah, you instantly just get hugged. <laughs> like, or like hugged, or hugged like picked up, spun around. Good orc like, hug. More, more like I think Andrella definitely and ends up squeaking. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's like, eh! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she like sets you down and she's like talking a mile a minute, just like the little kid. She's like, I was so worried my son would never find someone he cared about, and blah 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 blah. Um, to think he's alive and I got a I I got a daughter-in-law or whatever, just like all the like freaking out, I'm an excited Jewish mom stereotype. Um, just all at once. Um uh, what are what is everyone else doing? As just this just soaking it cacophony in. Cacophony is taking place. Wishing cameras were a thing and just soaking <laughs> it in. I wish cameras and cell phones just just to take selfies. <laughs> <laughs> you see me like ooh. So she she like the day started. She like looks so at she like looks at at Kirk and is like, we have to tell your father. He'll he'll be so happy for you. And then he like, she like pauses and then looks at Andrella again, like processing. And it's like, oh dear, you're Azamar. Uh, yes, sorry, the paint makes it maybe a little harder to see. It does. That's fine. That's fine. Is it? She, she just like smiles. It's um, gonna kind of eye her like, is it? This is why I've been having some conflict. <laughs> you're and um, she just kind of shrugs, sort of. But I accept you, dear, for who you are. But I really wanted my son to marry a nice Jewish girl. <laughs> Yeah, so here's that's the not, thing. That's not an inaccurate comparison. Andrella doesn't know about the Azamar um, war on the Jade Hordes yeah, because she didn't grow up in Lucy uh -huh. Benedict, and so she didn't uh -huh. get the history But you of would that. totally know it if you did. Um, yeah, but I didn't. Not, Dad uh -huh. never told me these stories. These were yep. the less mm -hmm. pleasant stories that he just never told her. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. So, so like, she has no idea why well, that would have been a problem. I think also the added, like, you're an Azamar, and that means you definitely aren't a part of our culture, and you probably won't ever do this back for him. Ah, uh, yeah. And I think that's coming through, too. Mm. Uh-huh. Um, and so I think she just, like, smiles and says, and then she, like, turns to Kirkall and just, like, says, I'm proud of you, and, like, hugs him, and then invites you all in for food, because, of course, she does that. 
That's when I uh, offer to uh, get my heads put away because this food evolved. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. A, a man nice. very care. A large orcish man very carefully takes your heads. And, and you see me like take out the pelt, like give him the. Uh, is that what you were wearing? Oh, the manticore yeah. pelt. Manticore yeah, his, pelt. His sh by that you mean his shirt. That's um, shirt. <laughs> um, uh, there's a there's a fourteen year old orc checking you out. Um, so he like takes it and like he like takes it very carefully and like hangs it. Um, nothing more sexy than a manticore pelt. No, no, nothing more sexy than a shirtless half Goliath. Um, <laughs> was focused on the pelt. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's my pride. Does. That's my trophy right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like carefully taken by mm -hmm. this guard. Mm -hmm. um, what? What's? So like, mom goes off to cook. What's everybody doing? Hold on, she doesn't have people to cook for her. Like, doesn't she get to sit with us? She's together? cooking for family. Okay, no, I mean it's a cultural. It's a. It's a cultural. It's a cultural thing that like. You have your servants prepare for guests. You cook for family. Okay, oh. I like that. Can, do um, I try? I tried to assist. Does she allow me? You are specifically told no. <laughs> you are well, just like it. you are just like you don't. She's just like, that's very sweet. Don't come anywhere near my kitchen, or I'll kick your ass. Echo, don't insult her. Yeah, don't. You know what? You know what? I just take a piece of my pouch and I just roll me up a blunt, since that counts as a herb. That does count as an herb. Nice. You got me there. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so Kirk, so Echo's getting high. Um, Kirkall is like, is like pulled the like cotton out of his nose from his nosebleed. Um, uh, I give him some, uh, I guess the uh, medieval version of aspirin for that to help with that. What could help? So aspirin, like yeah, aspirin, aspirin. I don't, I, I don't think that counts. I guess that counts as an herb. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll eat that and he'll just be like, Herbs are basically parts of plants. Yeah, he, yeah that counts as an herb. It's aspen bark. So he like, so he's like just like sitting there like, okay, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Um, it was adorable though. Thank you. You didn't break any bones, right? Uh, he like he like, like kind of like pulls up his um hand and his one of his fingers is like really swollen it's like it only got bent backwards but that's not bad yeah i've seen worse i came out okay this time yeah uh, Do you remember that one time lynn what is her name tinrin uh went missing for like a day when she came back i think uh i think tinrin mom... just says i couldn't stand for a week yeah yeah <laughs> jeez i can't lean into kirk all and like so if she asks how you met everyone should uh, just, should we just let you make do the talking, or? Oh, you, you don't want to share the sex prison story? I think, I think just Tedra just like looks at Cecilia and is like, I mean, we didn't sex prison. No, it. Kirkall, you had sex with her in prison. <laughs> no, no, it's say, nothing like that. There. It's nothing like that. There. He was in the cell next to me and another prisoner. That's she not better. Nice lady. That's not so better. Hard. She thinks a lot. That's the, not better. I, the real, the real question, dude, is it bad that so she knows? As much, do you have as much sex as Auntie Yen? Is this mean, really an appropriate question? Tim, I'm just saying, like, not tabletop conversation. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, Echo, you said you missed the bar and you like the singing. I have a harp. Let me sing something for you. I mean, it, <laughs> the, the, oh, it, thank you. It depends on the table. You see me grow, reach into my backpack and bring out my ocarina. It's like, okay, let's do this. As I jam. You all start playing. Can you, you play all me start the song playing of music. Time? You all start playing the song of time. Uh, time <laughs> yeah. rewinds. You have 24 hours till the moon crashes Shit. into a clock tower. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's, 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 while it's a party, does um, Cecilia break out her good hashish? Uh guys packing all this i'm so confused like probably there's a lot of drugs in this party okay. <laughs> probably not probably not do, do i pass uh again uh you want to take a hit i'll, I'll accept that something yeah. good to mellow out yeah after that question <laughs> <laughs> so Tenren is just like like watching um andrella like trying to like figure out what's going on with her playing because 
she's not musically inclined at all. Oh, okay. And she's like trying to like, like just study Andrella's movements. Also, I'm not sure. Andrella would have learned um, from her father, so I'm not sure if it's a technique that's very common. It's definitely or not. Or if the it's, harp is even very common. Over I don't think the, the harp is definitely not common in this okay. area. Okay. Um, I think I'm playing like a like an independent version of uh, by third eyes blind jumper step away perfect. from the fridge, my friend. But I don't know like what it is exactly because I do it off of memory. So, so. Anyway, yeah. Don't you understand? So so all that all that happens, and then just eventually just like plates and plates of food start getting brought out. Tell us about uh, Orcish cuisine. Yeah, please. Um, just first off, spicy. Um, mm-hmm. Lots of it. Lots of chicken. Lots of mm-hmm. Huh? Lots, lots of, of rice. Lots of rice. Um, there's probably like some like, like if you like if you were to take like um, like like Indian, Pakistani. So curry, curry. Yeah. Like there's there's a lot. There's probably a lot of curry. Mm. There's probably there's pickled probably, vegetables. Pickled vegetables. I love pickled. Vegetables. There's probably like some pickled beets. Um, yeah. yeah, there's like lots of spice. Um, lots of like um, goat and yeah, chicken yeah. and a little bit of beef. Um, as far north as you are, she might even bring out some sel- some like shellfish. Some like. Um, that's curried. like imported stuff though. Yeah, like curried shrimp. Like this is she's and like like fine fruits and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um like she's pulling out all of the stops. Yeah. Um That's because it's basically the wedding dinner <laughs> as far as she's concerned. <laughs> basically, yeah. Well, this is like your engagement party. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, there we go. Um and she's She's complaining. It's like, if only those stupid diplomats were not keeping your father, then we could actually have a conversation. Um, uh, definitely diplomats. Then... She like, what did Cecilia say? Sorry, I, I was going to ask an out of, out of character. Did, have we learned her name yet? Oh, yeah. What is her name? I had it written down. Um... I had it written. That's not where I wrote stuff down. Um, July, July, July. Okay, yeah, like July. it all comes out. She is um, a, yeah, she is a she. She is a Cirrus. She. Would you call her Cirrus, or would you call her by her name? Just as like a... you would call. She is specifically asked you all to call her July. Okay, got it. Um, at least in this context, sure. sure. <laughs> I call her by like the orc version of Miss July. I always put Miss in front of it. Yeah, she that she finds that infinitely annoying, but it's not gonna bother <laughs> correcting. I mean, you. you're also because you're an orc, you could also call her auntie. Like, mm-hmm. it's oh yeah, you could you could totally call her auntie, and and technically speaking, um, auntie Shalai. Technically yeah. speaking, like, um, um, probably Andrella could use familiar familial. Um, She's already got the approval, yeah. Names, totally. Like, like, she doesn't I don't think she, she is. Can, unless Kirkle would tell her that's okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I probably don't know to ask. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so it probably just doesn't happen. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Andrella does pipe up at the uh, mention of diplomats. Yes, they've been... <sighs> Some people from across the mountains arrived uh, a few days ago, and it's been turning the city upside down. From... Okay. Who? Huh. Sorry. Lily was making some really distressing faces. Oh no, just that 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 news is is fairly distressing. Um, yeah. I I do not actually know. Um I think they I don't I don't know. They they look like mountain folk, but they do not talk like mountain folk. Is this our first time meeting them? This is the first time I've seen any of them, but that does not mean this is the first time that they have been here. Um, Michael, does Andrella know what the diplomatic contacts would have been that um, Vosenland had with the Jade Horde? Almost non-existent. Well, we were mostly at peace. Like, like, like you talked, but it was always on a, I am a garrison commander talking to another like military raider. 
Like, so they were it was never. The, it was never like diplomatic. Sense. It was always like, "Hey, we're going to talk because we're close together, but we're not going to have like an official diplomatic chain." Okay, I thought that in the past like couple bits there had been diplomats sent. There, there had been diplomats sent. I don't know if any of them were. I think a lot of them were like turned away. Uh huh. Like maybe some of them had like perfunctory audiences with the king, but I don't think any were ever like. Anything, I don't think anybody ever came back with like, hey, here's the deal. We have a blank with the horde. It's, it's always So the a, horde frequently turned down any efforts at diplomacy. I think from I think from the Vossenland perspective, that's definitely the case, but maybe from the or I think from the Orcish perspective, it's very much like, do we really want to tether ourselves to a sinking ship? Um, like I think it's I think it's more complex than we don't want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. I think there were reasons, but I don't know if you would have that background. <coughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she's just she's just talking and complaining that it's kept her husband busy for days and days and days. And, um, once. She calls him something in Orcish that's both affectionate and a little bit insulting. Those are the best. Those ones have like, the most meaning. It's probably it's probably something to the effect of my little weasel, um, or something like that. Who Kirkle? No, no, he's her husband. Oh, which is kind of weird because I actually been in that situation once. One of my friends' uh, dad passed away, and I was talking to her mom, and she referred to like the ex husband as like that's my little. Even though it was like assaulting but loving at the same time, my little mm-hmm. asshole. Yeah, it's it's sort of that thing. It's like mm-hmm. a certain kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah. Um, Love you, Kelly. Meanwhile, um, meanwhile, all that's going on. Um, does anything else really exciting happen at dinner, or do we get to like? Fast yeah, a I bit? think that um, after Andrella inquires a bit about that diplomat diplomacy thing she gets kind of tense and then um at some point makes a excuse if she's not next to her she's probably next to her um leans over next to cecilia and just kind of under her breath so that only cecilia can hear her says um the horde has never accepted diplomats from Vosenland. these can only be from the uh uh confederation that's what I was I mean, about. I mean, as of, as of now, Vosenland and the conf- as of now, the Vosenland and the Confederation are the same. Not so, to Andrella. Not to Andrella, but that's what I um, was So about. yeah, so Andrella says, you know, I might be in danger here. Actually, mm-hmm. this might have been a bad idea. I don't think no, nothing. Nothing will happen to you. I think we should probably just try to talk to talk to him in private. Definitely not with any of them around. And probably try to avoid. Do you have a? Did, you, did we ever get you a good disguise? I think. I mean, we were in the woods a lot. It wasn't needed. I think Kurt. I think Kurt's sister like like leans like leans in and is like, "I can help with that." Good. Good. Okay. That's true. Such a was nice just, like, chiming in. She, Such like, a she, nice kid. She like she like leans over. She's like. Mom, I have to pee. And she like grabs Andrella's hands and like starts to lead her off. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. Mm-hmm. I think that Andrella's only surprised at how like abrupt the, the announcement was. She's like used to doing this, right? But it's usually like, <laughs> if you would please excuse me, I am going to take my leave for a moment. And then, right, right. you know, they, they leave, but she's like, Mom, I have to pay. And then, <laughs> Andrella's like, no. <laughs> yeah, she leads you off to like her room. Um, and like nobody else stood up. It was so weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kirkall, Kirkall, yeah. Kirkall is just like laughing and talking with some of the guards and like talking to his mom and just looks like happy in a way that you like haven't seen him. Mm-hmm. Like he's home. Um, that sort of vibe is definitely what everyone's getting. Um, would Cecilia and Yin like to do anything before I do this? And really uh, getting makeup. Uh no, I don't think so. I think well, um, 
I think Cecilia will want to talk to because uh, um, sorry, what was her, her name was uh, Shisa or Shalaya. Shalai. 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 Um, I think, yeah, she, I think I think Cecilia would want to talk to Shalai a little bit just because like since she's kind of a religious figure, just like kind of like just asking questions about the whole ep- what what everything, just like yeah, tell me about um, you, what you do, and like yeah, can Andrella have been there for that part? Uh, oh yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> you can come so you can come back um and you have like a very large bag um you have like a very large bag of clothes that you've been instructed to put on when you go out okay and that's <laughs> that's basically your disguise great okay um, oh i do want to chat up the little sister though you want to chat up the little sister so the little sister comes back Cecilia starts talking about religion with Shalai. Um, Tell me about young Kirk girl. What happened? Like, what's the I reason you've heard from me? I mean, Kirk's always been old. That's fair. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to. Tr- I'm trying to dig in for like when he gets in like a certain mood. Is there any triggers that can you know like get him to settle down? Punching him. <laughs> I don't. He seems kind of sensitive. I don't want to punch I'm just him. Say, I'm just saying, if he ever gets fussy, punch him real hard in the nose, and he'll calm down. Works every I, time. Hmm. I think. I kind of look. I, I think that's when, like, I think that's when he like reaches across the table and like hits her on the back of the head. <laughs> you see, we kind of look. And, I, and that's and, the, and it's exactly like um like Yin's mom. Um, it's very much a, like you're annoying, but it's an affectionate you're annoying. <laughs> Because um, I, really I look at the sister, then I look at Yang, then I look at Adrella, and I'm like, hmm, weigh my options. Who will punch him you... in the nose? Oh. <laughs> like, if I punch him in the nose, like, how mad would Adrella be at me, and how much would Yang laugh? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I weigh my options. Like, I'm hmm, not gonna not a lot. Like, the, and a ba- lot. the balance um, of, like, hmm, I'm going to get this much trouble, but I'll get this much satisfaction out of it. <laughs> so, yeah, she... So Shalai is a, is a seeress. Yeah, she's yeah. one of the high seeress. Um, she, her, I think, I think it's it's not it's it's like very non intellectual divination magic. Sure, sure. It, it's more like divination magic from the perspective of a cleric than divination magic from the perspective of a wizard. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how much those spell books overlap. To not, be honest, like a little bit. I don't. I, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, there's I, some. I, get you, I get you. I'm yeah. sure there's some cleric variant that gets some amount of, like it's it's very much a, I, go into a trance and I get prophetic visions. Sure, and, sure. I can see um, the future. I that's how I tell the horde where to move. Basically, is like her thing. cool. She like predicts, like a co- it's like a combination of like predicting the weather, predicting like animal movements, and like. Mm-hmm. Where is going to be the best place to go? So it's as much a I'm going to go into a trance and have a magic vision as it is, I'm going to watch the birds mm-hmm. and figure out where herds of animals are traveling and stuff like that. Awesome. <coughs> Bit of an art and a science. Um. Awesome. Yeah, I think yeah, I think just Cecilia is just doing the like, I'm being a nice guest. Thing mm-hmm. and just yeah, just like asking questions and like she she's like, first off, she really likes you um, because you're doing that. Yes, <laughs> brownie points. Uh, <laughs> and then she, um, she like says, you know who she says you know who you'd like, hmm. you'd like my other son. You should meet him. Other son. It's very motherly. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, Kirkall's brother. No, sort of stepbrother. You'd love him. He's he's a sweetheart. Oh, and he's pretty and single. And she like, well, he's not single, but I hate his wife. So she like elbows you real hard. Are they having? <laughs> are, are, oh, are, is something happening? Or no, no, they're happy as clams. Oh, okay. I'm gonna lean over. I, to I just Celia. don't like her. Like, don't don't even get involved. That politicking is just scary business. I lean over to Kirk Hall and I'm like, you never mentioned a brother. <laughs> it was never relevant. Like his whole family he hasn't talked about. Would you like to meet him too? I mean, 
It's your family. Of course they're all relevant. We'll Why see. would you think they're not relevant? They're family. I, just... I see most of y'all like family. I think, Aww. I think, I think so. I think, I think, um, Tess, Tess, what's her name? Tess something? Tinrin? Tinrin. 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 Tinrin, like, reaches over and just smacks Kirkle on the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mention your brother? And then she, like, smacks it again. And then something gets, like, a shoe gets thrown at her. And then it devolves into three orcs yelling at each other. <laughs> this is a great place. <laughs> Regular dinner time. <laughs> yeah, Yin is just like totally unfazed. It's, yeah. like, it's like an apple core like flies and hits Kirkle in the face. I'm drinking mm -hmm. some tea. All right, is Kirk is Ooh. is Andrella like horrified or amused? I mean, she is alarmed, but she's trying very hard to take her cues from like. I guess mostly Yin at this point, because she's the only one that looks semi-sane. And like, okay, I'll also sip some tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, she, they, and, and it all devolves into them just like laughing, laughing about something. Like maybe like a noodle got stuck on um, Tinrin's, face. Tinrin's nose or something like that. And they're like all laughing and just- I guess they needed that. Like this is yeah, a that's been was, apart for so long. <laughs> uh, yeah, orcs feel strongly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Orcs, orcs have strong emotions. That's why they turn those emotions into actions. Yeah, and mm -hmm. get engaged to a princess after like a month. Um, yeah, you know, man of actions. Yeah, uh -huh. as I bite my pickle relish. So, um, yeah, I think I think dinner ends, um, or I guess dinner. This feels like dinner time ish. Yeah, yeah. Might we as well be. The city, we sure. Out. The morning was yeah. capturing the draw, the drow, and then we had yeah. to come under. Yeah, and you had like hours yeah. of travel, so this is yeah. maybe like a, technically I think, and I think it took her a while to cook this, so it's definitely dinner time. Yeah, sure. sure. Um, yeah, and after bringing out like a dessert of like somehow frozen fruit or whatever, nice. like frozen Magically fruit frozen. paste. Yeah, we've got yeah. servants that can cast cone of yeah, cold totally. food. Yeah, or, totally. Or just <laughs> control cold or something. Yeah, freeze that's the only frostbite there's some <laughs> like rudimentary them. magic that lets you freeze food i'm sure that exists i start frostbiting the stuff as it starts to thaw towards the end <laughs> <laughs> thank you like this I, is, I think this is how I think we do it at home well this is how i, I do it at home <laughs> i think that's when i think that's when um shalai leans over to kirkall and just pulls on his sleeve and says i like this one keep her and she like kisses him on the forehead and like stands up and like starts taking up the dishes we have people that would pick up our dishes though, right? Oh, totally. But okay. she wants to, she's like trying to be like a good host. And so like she starts it and then all the servants come over and are like taking food. I'm just used stuff. to having interns do everything for me. Right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's totally different. And it's totally different in the monastery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Silent interns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so all that happens. Um, Kirkall looks mildly tired after all that and I think he just kind of like like checks time I guess like by looking at like the moon mm -hmm. I'm sure this room has like a skylight like that feels like a thing this room would have yeah it's like they probably have like yeah. nearly see-through have... fabric ooh, yeah, ooh, we probably have like little print <laughs> that tells you what time of day it is like, oh, little, yeah, like yeah. art and stuff yeah I think he like looks up and he's like oh Okay, well, I'm sure we'll be able to see the king first thing in the morning. Uh, Is I think... your dad with the king? Yes. I mean, if it's, if it's doable, if your dad's around in the morning, I'd be interested in meeting him to ask him about the diplomats before going to the king. I don't imagine you'll be able to see them separately. We oh. could try and see him now. Well, I mean, it's late. That seems rude. He doesn't sleep very much. He's a man of action. I respect that. Are the- No, he's an insomniac. <laughs> Are I the... respect that too. Are the diplomats staying the night or will they be leaving? I don't know. I imagine they have lodging somewhere in the monastery town. Is there a place we can stay that's not near where they'll be staying? 
<laughs> Guys are welcome to come stay at the monastery, but I don't know where the diplomats are. You're well, cons- Kokal said they'd stay near the monastery. Oh, he did. Well, you're in the that. monastery town, so there's there's like inns and taverns here for like guests of the horde or travelers. Just by necessity. You don't have like a dedicated uh, spot for like our like our honored guests. Like there's no there, extra. I'm sure there. I'm sure something like that exists. I don't know if these people would be staying there. Oh. Okay. Why don't we just stay here? Yeah, I guess if like yeah, if like they've got. Yes, like, you have us, of course. Is that we have? Right? I, I think I think I think uh, I think Shalai like sticks her head out of the like comes back in and is like, of course you're staying here. Oh. <laughs> and she just like like weeds over like boops Kirk all the back of the head and she's like, how dare you not invite our guests to stay? Um, I, 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 and he's I'm just like, I can't, he's just like raises his arms. He's like, I can't win. I can't win. I can't do it. <laughs> um, shall I? Yes. Do you know where the diplomats would be staying? Um, they, um, one of the viziers encouraged us to have them stay outside of the city. I don't know more than that. Is there an inn outside the city? No. So they're probably at the inn. Assuming they did not listen. If they did listen, then they might have a camp somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Thank there you. There were a few of them. So she kind of shrugs. Um. Shall I show you all to rooms? Yes, okay. please. Um. Um. As we all start filing back in, Andrella holds her um, scepter uh, against her lips and whispers and sends a message to Cecilia. Oh, uh-huh. how fancy. And says, and says, I think I've changed my mind. I want to know who these diplomats are. Turn and look. <laughs> <laughs> and then I send a message again and I say, we have an advantage against them. We can sneak up on them and find out who they are. Is this the one that I can respond or is this not the one I can yeah, respond? This yes, one this is the one you can respond. <laughs> do you want to ask about them or do you want to sneak and try to see who they are without them noticing us? Definitely sneaking. <laughs> okay. Sure, great. Also, so we'll ask Echo and Kirk Hall, um, but I don't know if Yen will even care. We can, we can see. So, yeah, so she, um, Yen is welcome to stay or go. Uh, it is her choice. She can go back to the monastery if she wants. See her mom again? Yeah. But you have been given a room here. Um, Cecilia has a room. Echo has a room. Um, I, like I think she just sort of assumes that Andrella and Kirkall will be sharing a room. Would you like to contest that point? Um, she doesn't contest the point, mostly because the moment that they're led into the room and then, you know, uh, uh, Shalai leaves, Andrella turns to Kirkall and says, so those diplomats. Oh, God. I like yes. to roam the city. <laughs> um, right. We know the inn that they would likely be staying at. Uh-huh. I would like to see if I can get eyes on them. Identify them. Andrella, that's a terrible idea. They don't know I'm here. They have no reason to think I'm here. Andrella. It's... That's a lot of cat meows. Yeah, my kitty is upset at the moment. <laughs> I, it's like, there's a cat I, here. I, I, no, the cat's like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> it, it, it's, it doesn't seem prudent to go and spy on diplomats when you're attempting to establish diplomatic relations with a country you're a guest in. That sounds too smart. (laughs) Okay, you can stay here, that's fine. Uh, (laughs) Cecilia and I will go. (laughs) Angela, please just, 
listen? This doesn't seem like a good idea to me. I don't want to interact with them. I simply want to see who they are. Let me get my bow. (laughs) Then I go, go knock on Kirkhall's, or I go knock on Echo's door. Echo's like, you know, like, like combing his, uh, his prize uh, pelt and getting ready to head out. And it's like, hey, what's up? (coughs) We're going to go spy on those diplomats. You see me kind of of like look to the side and I look back and I kind of see if anybody else is there. And I'm like, Sure, I got some new spells for that. Nice. Um, and and then and then I go back and I Cecilia I, go talk to Yin. Yeah, I didn't really have a room because I was just kind of hanging out. Um, uh-huh. I I'm actually so I'm gonna be at the um, exit of the building. I was just sitting outside chatting with some of the guards, trying to catch up with everybody. Yeah, yeah. There's one of the guards. Uh, one of the guards here. She's, um, you and her have been a thing in the past. Mm-hmm. And she's like very clearly like, "Hey, since you're back in town." Okay, I mean, I'm flirting back. It's it's, yeah, yeah. it's nice to get in touch with uh, people. What does again. Yin flirt like? Uh, aggressively, <laughs> I think. Ag- it aggressive. Just kind of go with her personality. Everything she does just is really like cool. very, Not just like all. very blunt. It's like, like your face looks to- nice. I want to <laughs> do things to it. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. sort of that range. Kind of. It's pretty, she's pretty blunt. It's just kind of a lot of like, oh, you're still into me. Well, I mean, I've got a free night if you want to come back to the monastery. The, this particular guard seems excited, and that's probably when Cecilia comes out. <coughs> Cecilia, the first one to exit? Well, I think th- while they're all getting themselves, like, I, I went to look for you to, like, see if you wanted to do the join. Um, so I think I, like, come, like, walk out, see you. Hey, I- realize i'm interrupting like I... this you get the look of like bitch stay away from my girl from the other woman yeah oh no that i uh i'll catch you from like the corner of my eye because i've got a really good passive perception of 12 uh-huh. uh <laughs> and um, uh oh uh cecilia hey what's uh hi. What you guys up to? uh the group was wanted to do a thing we were weren't sure if you were, were going to want to be involved or uh, it's one of those thing things, like th- the kind of things I enjoy. I think so. Okay, yeah, no, this is good. Uh, I mean, I don't think it'll back. take us. I mean, it's are not you going gonna, to, it's I not think the girl is just like, okay, well, if you're going to enjoy that more than me, oh, she gonna... like, she like, w- she like, it's not, walks off. No, it's not going to take us on. It's just going to be like a short thing. We're just going to go. Celia, it's okay. Whatever. Like, one of many women. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> If if you guys are doing what I think you're doing, I, I much prefer little little excursions like this. Okay. I'd rather spy on people than have sex. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Well, yeah. What do I enjoy more? I mean, I am a monk of shadows. What yeah. Can I well, say? Yin's so, like, eh, I can get another one to replace that. I can't always <laughs> replace these exciting adventures. <laughs> exactly. Adventures. Uh, spy spy on people is great for point. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> Right. All right. So that feels like a good time to take a break. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, we like walk. Yin and I walk back, and as I tell her what we're about, what we're wanted to go do, and then, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take another short break. Uh, enjoy the music, and we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> 